So I'm not supposed to be smiling and I don't even know for whatever reason why I am smiling. I don't know why I'm smiling. This is not supposed to be a funny conversation, but it is funny because it took me back to two years ago when somebody wanted to invite me and they decided that they're not going to invite me because apparently people in the abroad, women categorically in the abroad are moving mad. And I don't understand. Welcome to Maranatha side of the internet. Ha! If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what it is that you're waiting for. If you don't like my videos, you don't comment. I don't know what you're all are waiting for. So please, if you haven't been doing that, this is an opportunity for you to jump on the Maranatha's wagon. <laughs> but yeah, um, welcome to today's show. I'm not even supposed to be smiling. I'm not supposed to be smiling because some people have decided to give us bad name. And then some of the friends that I have in the abroad now think Maranatha is part of the group of people or the class of women that are terrible. So nobody is wanting to invite me to the abroad. Please, I beg you guys, stop giving us bad names. So I had a conversation with one of my friends um, yesterday. Yes, he is in the UK with his wife and they have a child. We're having a conversation yesterday where he had written plenty things and he was complaining bitterly that, you know, these things keep happening over and over again and there are no ways to work on it. What happened is that um, there's somebody that had said he was in the UK or the US. I can't even remember right now. He was in the UK or the US and then he invited his wife and children over there. And, you know, a couple of years later, this woman goes around to spread petty rumors, not petty per se, but serious allegations about domestic violence. Thus, now he is back in Nigeria, you know, and this, my friend kept lamenting and lamenting that he doesn't know what's wrong. So you you get married. And then you invite your family over there. Is it now a crime that most of these women are lying? Like somebody who invites you over to outside of the country. You wake up one day and you decide that, yo, I no longer want to be with this person or I just want to be wicked or whatever that that's, you know, that is. And, you know, he was complaining about this, how women are wicked and all that and all that. And I'm like, yes, granted, I accept that some women are from the pit of hell. Yes, I agree. But isn't it weird that, you know, these people are coming out to say this kind of thing? Is it just for the sake of wickedness? Are these allegations truly not so? I had to tell me that the first month he had invited his wife over, um, the neighbors, and I think they, he said they were moving to a different apartment. Yes. And the neighbors, you know, cornered her and were telling her that, um, look, here is the police phone number. Here is this and this and that. If he beats you or, you know, there's any form of domestic violence, this is what and what you should do. And so he's like, they are not joking about this thing. And I said, okay, how are you sure that? I get it. I understand that, you know, over there, even we've had people complain over the years that their kids are now spoiled because they can now call the police station to report them if there is like any kind of violence at home. And, you know, they are trying to protect the children. But, you know, sometimes for we Africans, we feel like, you know, children are getting spoiled over there because we can't beat them or shelter them too much or, you know, all of that. But I asked him a question. And the question is this. When it becomes that a group of people are constantly shoving a particular kind of content to people, don't you think that there is an iota of truth to it? He said, no, that it is not possible that outside of the country is not like Nigeria. People can get, get away with, you know, domestic violence. And I said, but there've been repeated stories of people getting beaten or women who have been rendered timid. There was a recent story about this. Um, oh God, I forget his name. Alex something, something. Um, the mother and the son were, he orchestrated, I think a terrorist attack or like a cult thingy, I can't even remember the name right now, that eludes me. But yes, there have been repeated stories of families being 
um, um, abusing their families or families being somehow, you know, and they've been married to women who are, in quotes, very timid and very gullible, who are not able to say these things or come out to say that, yo, my husband is doing this and that to me. So if a group of people are constantly clamoring for the same thing over and over again, then obviously they are trying to do that so that they can prevent, you know, um, too much of that from happening. So you can't say that maybe, yes, some um, Nigerian women are lying on their husbands and getting them deported back to the country. But at the same time, I feel like some of them may be true because let's face it, what are their reasons? Would it be that they're falling in love with, you know, Anoyibo and they don't want to be with in their marriage again? There are easier ways around it. If you're falling in love, you can get married and get your papers. You don't even need to do wickedness and deport your husband back to the country. So if you're among the group of women who are cheating or looking for ways to, I don't know, whatever that information is, or so whatever that reason may be, but please stop being wicked. The person you're sending back to the country, he also has family, friends, and siblings to cater to. So if you're doing that for your own selfish reasons, I'm not going to lie you. If I say, come on now, come on feed the labor, God, they watch you. You get, don't do that. Don't do that. If you, for whatever reason, you decide you don't want to stay with your husband again, don't wait until you get outside the country. Maybe some people are doing it because maybe when they were in the country, they were maltreating them. And then you go over there, you realize that it's a different ball game. And now you have the power to do whatever you want to do. Either way, just don't do wickedness. Because now, nobody wants to invite me over. Because I think I'll also be among the class of women who are going to be doing that kind of thing. So I beg. I am up for marriage. I'm up for traveling. I'm up for the Obodo Evo. Me too. I want to have fine skin. I want to live the life and I want to have a platform where I can publish my books and it's to get publicized with North because Nigeria is doing your girl strong thing. But yeah, that's by the way. Um, another thing I want to share with you guys is my book, Friendship Edition, is out. <laughs> <laughs> if you cannot see that I'm happy, I don't know. But yeah, my book, Friendship Edition, is out. It's currently on Kindle. Um, paperback is taking a bit of time to get published because I didn't want to have any errors in the book. And it's on Okada Books. There is a free version of it. If you are not sure if it's something you want to invest your money in, you can read the free version. Um, that is from chapter one to beginning of chapter four, I think. And if you think it's something worth spending your one five on, please give it a check out on Okada Books. It's going to be on Bam Books maybe next week. Um, they said uh, between now and next week anyway. So yeah, what again do I want to say? Yeah, my other books are also available as well. Check them out. Um, I posted a newsletter mm, yesterday where I talked about, or two days ago, yeah, where I talked about uh, the time I had a male roommate. Again, men are liars from the pits of hell. Yes, men are women at this point. So I know I had said women are liars. <laughs> from the pit of hell earlier on so yes this is to tell you that men are women are liars they are all liars if you take see anything they tell you take it with a pinch of salt anything that happened to you my husband did not send you so yeah thank you guys for watching remember to subscribe um share the, co the content um like and comment thank you very much and see you next week Bye bye